Hi everyone, Mike here, and in this video I'm going to be making a female version of this guy, a Tech Priest Dominus from Warhammer 40k. Now if you're watching this, there's a good chance that you paint Adeptus Mechanicus, so there's also a good chance that you have one or two of the Start Collecting Skitari boxes laying around. If you do, all the Ad Mech parts you need are in here, but you'll need one other miniature, Inquisitor Greyfax. These are the sprues I'll be using, and I'll zoom in and explain each one as I use it. It just so happened that my brother-in-law gave me Inquisitor Greyfax as a Christmas gift one year. I didn't have the heart to tell him that I already had it, but this works out perfect. Now I can kitbash using her parts. So most of this model is going to be Greyfax, but I'll be stealing a few parts from this Tech Priest Dominus. I'm also going to be using the backpack attachment 91, which is normally used for troopers carrying the arc rifle. And I'm going to be using Ranger Head 101. From the Tech Priest, I'll be using this tentacle attached to the main body, the Volkite Blaster, the Omniscient Axe. I thought I'd try to attach the Macro Stubber, but I couldn't find space for it. And finally, the Servo Skull. The first thing I'm doing is attaching this loincloth to the cloak. And a little tip, cut the sword off. It doesn't get in the way, but it does make the model look very busy. I cut it off much later, and it was a pain to do. Next, I'm going to modify this axe a bit. First, I'm cutting off the arm that's attached, but I am leaving the hand. Not that I could really get rid of the hand anyhow. I want to snip this off parallel to the handle of the axe so I can attach Greyfax's arm, which is pointed straight down from her shoulder. The next thing I want to do is attach Greyfax's left forearm, and then attach her forearm to the hand attached to the axe. That means I need to cut her left hand off. The Tech Priest hand is a fair bit bigger. This lady is going to have big man hands. Alright, here are the pieces we're now working with. Except for this one. Forget that one. And cut the sword off this one. After trying to assemble more of the pieces, I realized that this bit at the bottom of the axe wasn't going to fit. It was brushing up against the cloak, but instead of cutting it off and throwing it into my spare parts bucket, I'm just going to move it to the other side. And for all of you cringing at the sight of those mold lines right now, I promise that I got rid of them. Now this part is a pain in the butt. After you add the glue to the wrist, you are going to have to hold this in place for 30 seconds to a minute until the plastic glue sets enough that you can put the pieces down. Next I want to get rid of the Inquisitor symbol on the back of the cloak. Plastic putty, milliput, green stuff, any of these will work for this. I don't know what this is called, so I'm just going to call it the power pack for an arc rifle. I'm cutting the bottom right knob off to create an attachment point for the servo skull. Next I'm gluing the pipes that come with Greyfax to her backpack, as well as the arc rifle power pack as you see here. At some point, I'm going to attach this tentacle, or mecha dendrite, to the backpack, so I'm going to cut it off and set it aside. Just thinking ahead here, no pun intended, but we need to cut off the excess plastic inside the neck of the cloak before we attach the other half, otherwise the ranger head won't fit. Next, I'm cutting the gun off of Greyfax's right arm. After that, I'm cutting the wrist about halfway up the bracer. This arm is going to be a BFG, just a bicep and a Volkite blaster. I'm trimming this piece at the end of the gun just to make the gun look a little bit smaller and lighter. Now I'm doing the left pauldron that's shaped like a skull, and I'm trimming the length of the purity seals. They're a bit too long, and they were touching the axe. That's partly my fault, because I moved the device that was on the handle of the axe to the opposite side. If you cut it off and leave it, the purity seals will be fine as they are. Okay, just an update photo. Here are the pieces that we're currently working with. At this point, it's mostly a matter of just gluing things together and figuring out the correct angles for the servo skull and the mechadendrite. 
Before I glue anything though, I'm sticking everything together with poster putty just to see how it looks. And I've decided that axe is still too long. So once again, I'm snipping some more off and now it looks a lot better. Now the last difficult bit is attaching the servo skull and the mechadendrite tentacle, though you could wait until the very end for this part. I'm cutting the end of the servo skull on an angle so it attaches at the correct angle on the backpack. Of course once I had everything glued, I didn't like the angle and had to cut it and reattach it. That's why you should probably do this step last. The tentacle is going to be coming up from the bottom of the backpack, but this little antenna was in the way, so snip snip. Having this tentacle come from the bottom was the only position I could find that didn't look awkward, and I strongly considered attaching a gun to the end of it instead of a claw. Once this is attached, there's nothing left to do but glue the rest of the pieces into place. I went ahead and did that, and threw some paint on it so you guys could see what it looks like. I put this tech priest on a high rock and posed the head so she was looking down, surveying the battlefield. This also makes her the exact same height as the male Dominus. I want to send a big thanks to all my patrons for supporting the creation of these videos and a special thank you to Brian Jones. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section and thanks for watching.